Carrier, then in a baby carriage. Baby carrier. So while I have been in baby carrier and seen a lot when I was growing up, it, according to my parents, um, they were really popular in Asian countries and other countries around Asia. Um, they were really popular that it got to the point where it was a necessity for Asian first class mothers to either have one or to make their own. Um, this baby carrier, or as I say in my language, Mesai, has has been has represents how simple and convenient it was for women around um, for women who had to work in the fields throughout their daily lifestyle by carrying their babies on the back. Um, when my mother was working for a sewing machine company, she she brought my sibling and I to her work every day since my father was at work during the day. Um, she would either carry us on the mail or put us in the baby stroller. As I grew older, I would, um, as I grew older, I could see how I, was, how I was raised by looking at my younger sisters or by looking at my younger cousins on the men's eye. Throughout this speech, you will have a better understanding of my culture by learning more about the baby carriage from Asian cultures. Asian cultures. I will first discuss about the baby culture baby carrier and how, how it represents the Asian country, Asian culture. Then I'll give a discussion on how I identify with both this culture and the baby carrier. The Mela has symbols, um, has symbols that represent the fortune for the incoming future for the household and for the um, baby. Asian, Asian countries created the symbols on the Mela to represent the fortune for the household and the community. Um, Although there are many different kinds of baby carriers of Mesai from Asian countries, they have similar patterns on it. For example, right here, as you can see in the middle, it represents the opportunities and the fortune for the incoming future. And they, and they have this color red on them to represent, um, to signify the luck that they will have for not bringing bad luck into the family. Um, first, the baby carrier are known worldwide to have helped and to have helped and to have been helpful and convenient for the mothers who have to work. Yeah. However, as my mother once told me, the Medai um the Medai is exceptional for the baby carriers since Asian mothers tend to believe in the symbols for the on the Medai. Um, second, the recognition and the symbols of the Medai are believed to have helped families to bring luck and for the future. And the symbols are very important to Asian culture. Believing in the Meta is this great significant to for each family that will bring luck. Lastly, unlike the other Meta, it is constructed to be for to be helpful for the babies, so to be snug and comfortable and for the mothers to and for the mothers who are standing up well, for, and for the babies to be comfortable and stuff while the mothers are standing up or relaxing during day. I was, I just discussed how the matter represents the Asian culture that I will now identify how I, I was born. <laughs> I just discussed about the meta and how I identify, I just discussed about, about the meta and how it represents the Asian cultures. I will now tell you how I identify with this culture. I was born and raised in an Asian culture, so I, was, so, I was, so I consider myself to be part of this culture. I have always known I was part of, I have always known I was in the Asian culture since I was little. Um, since I grew up had, having been in that time, my grandparents would say I was lucky since I was since I brought a boy to the family and being born before my brother. As I grew older, I was unsatisfied about how I grew up in the Asian culture since my surrounds were from different cultures. Um, but then I, I look at my surroundings and think, why were my classmates to have pale skin? And then it hit me. It must be from the lack of sun in their life. But then I soon realized that growing up in the Asian community is not so bad since I get to celebrate Chinese New Year the traditional way and and 
from growing up to having a large family. In Asian culture, we aren't just people who have the same skin color and from the same community, but also we are family to each other. By showing others that have been in, in a metai, it displays a culture from how I was raised and from different cultures to how they were raised. We, have a, we now have a better understanding of the metai and how and the culture of them. First, I discuss about how the metai and how it and how I represent Asian cultures. Lastly, I, I share my experience growing up in an Asian culture and from having been in the metai. This culture is known worldwide. Because Asians are all around the world making an impact to others. Um, as for this class, there are others who are from different cultures, but I would like for each and every one but I would like for each and every one to but I would like for each and every one to just look at each other in the eye and to appreciate the culture and for who they are.